Hey, welcome back to Quick Looks with the Casual Hour. My name is Bobby. Joining me, as always, the gamer on the go. And today, I'm about to ruin Chase's life. You're going to hear it here first, folks. Mm, yes. His life is over. Yep. Because Super Auto Pets, the game that he thought he could avoid, <laughs> is now available in a browser. Chase, yeah. what the hell is Super Auto Pets, and why have you been avoiding it? Super Auto Pets is an auto chess style game, um, like uh, like the Team Fight Tactics or those kinds of games. Uh, it is out on Steam for PC only. Uh, it is on uh, Android phones. Although uh, looking at this tweet that was posted January thirteenth, which is only a few days from when we're recording this quick look. Uh, Team Wood Games, the developer here, says currently adding sound effects to the many, many new upcoming pets, but the ho ha kind of sound. What the what the ho ha kind of sound does a fish make? Ah, interesting. Um, I can only add so many sounds of water bubbles and submarines. Also, looks like we might be able to solve our iOS deadlock soon, so uh, I might really be screwed, and this game might come to iOS at some point. Uh, but the reason that I am actually screwed is that this game is also uh, just recently got an itch.io browser-based version that is that is free to play. You don't have to download anything, and uh, I unfortunately can play that, which means I will be playing that and probably not much else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before we tell you and show you everything that you could know about this game, you should like and subscribe to our channel. We play games like Super Auto Pets Mondays and Fridays at twitch.tv slash casual hour. We bring those videos on demand to our YouTube channel. We record a live podcast Wednesday nights. We bring that over here as well. We do quick looks a few times a week. It's just a really good place to be. Like, subscribe, let us know what you think about Super Auto Pets below in a comment, and uh, let's get into it. So Chase, I yeah. don't have a so lot... So Bobby, Bobby, just a couple quick last things. Like, this is a game from, from 2021. Oh, yes. Uh, it's September, um, and, and this Team Wood Games, I haven't found anything else that they've made before, so I don't know if it's, uh, you know, just a, a first game, or if this is, you know, somebody who's worked on games before and is now going out on their own. Uh, but what they've made here is uh, a very cute and extremely addictive and extremely deep tactical auto chessy kind of game. And, uh, and man, man, does it look cool. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to I'm going to leverage any knowledge you have of the genre because this is really my first time dipping into it. But there's something I, I think that that's a really important point to make on this quick look is that. There is something here that I think makes this game pretty damn approachable. And as you mentioned, there is a depth to it. So you go from like the kiddie pool to the deep end pretty quick with it. Um, but just a quick overview of what we're gonna be doing here. There's a buying round. And I don't know if this is something unique to this game or if this is just how auto chess games are in general. It's how auto chess games work. Okay. Uh, so we'll have a buying round. Everything down here in this lane is gonna be three gold. You start each round with 10. Um, you also have 10 health. Uh, this is your run, the streak, so to get to 10 to win a streak. And then I think this is just the timer that you have for, for the battle. Um, each one of your pets has a strength and a health. Also, the dice represents the, the current level. As you progress through this, your items that you can use for them and uh, feed them also goes up. So we are playing with the, the, the non-free deck. There's a $5 premium deck that you can purchase that has uh, different different critters in it and that's the one we're playing with today so this first round we don't have a whole lot of options um, we can just buy these three and move them up there but at, you're going to see that each one of these pets has a unique trait and ability that can go into your strat so if I buy food uh, we're going to gain one strength and one health until the end of battle so if I buy this honey for this ladybug that'll help us out here and if I sell this beaver um, it gives me, gives two random friends one health. So we could put all them up here. I could sell the beaver, make some gold back. And I can also re-roll and get a different set here if I don't like any of them. I think there's a cost to that. I can't remember, though. Is the first one free and then they get more expensive after that? Probably so. We can that's, test that that's out if usually, you want to. That's usually an auto chest thing. Um, what I would do here, I, I think that bluebird is going to be pretty helpful to you. Yeah. Uh, and I think that beaver is going to be pretty helpful to you. Okay. I think the ladybug's probably not what you're looking for here. 
So roll uh, again here. And I, yeah, roll again to see what we get. Okay, so that did cost. That cost one. So I guess that's the one on the die, which is weird because the one on the die is level right. sometimes. And it's, right. Yeah. Um, pig doesn't seem bad. Crickets. No, we could, we could level up our beaver, but that would... That's, that's true. So you can... So if you get multiple pets of the same type, you, you I don't... Won't, I, won't, I won't do it, but you can see that there's like that merge arrow above it. Right, so you could just buy two beavers and have two beavers, but you could also merge, which would make your your beaver stronger. Um, I wouldn't do that because we are going to sell this beaver the next turn. Yeah. Um, what I might do though is buy that second beaver and just have it in in your party. Okay. Um, and I might also throw the bird over to the left because the bird is going to give the leftmost friend. Well, so I don't know everything about this game, but uh, I wonder if friend means it might not give it to itself. Yeah, so right now it's going to give it to this beaver, the leftmost. Right, but if but if we put the bluebird on the left, would it give it to itself? Uh, it would go here. Okay. Well, that's not leftmost, that's rightmost. But it would go down the line and then come it around. It would go down the line, so it would go to the... Wait, I, I, I'm, wrapper? I, okay. okay. I, think, I think so. We can test it out if you want to. Yeah, let, let's do that, because we're going to sell these beavers, uh, we, okay. and so we'd hopefully like to get that extra tank on the bluebird, but that's not the biggest deal right now. Uh, one of the other cool things that happens, Chase, when you first start off a run, um, is that you have to name your team. And so, ah, yes. Uh, I, mm. I, really, I really like gushing soup. Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, man. <laughs> um... So this, gonna, this is this is such a good part of it. Like just a, an adjective and a noun, and fuck you. Pick whatever. Pick between the threes that we're offering you. So uh, okay, so it, it did give it strength. Like the bird was two one, and now it's three one. Okay, so it fed itself then. Well, that didn't Ouch. really do any good. No, nope, that didn't help at all. We we got we got, we got dead. Some, we got dead. That's okay. Uh, we're we, we're building this team to to take on future teams. We'll we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So one thing to, to note also, because we're level one, you lose one heart. As you level up, sure. You so like level two, you would lose two hearts if you get defeated, so so on and so forth. Um, all right. Now you were saying to sell, we're going to sell these beavers, right? Yeah, but wanna... before, you, before you do that, I think we want to bring in more pets that they can potentially give the health to. Yeah. So yeah. what do we like here? Um, I like that mosquito. That yep. that seems real good. And what's the ant do? Uh, the ant is um, when it dies, it gives strength and health. I like that too. We can we can keep those guys. Those feel those feel good. And then why don't we sell both of these beavers? Okay. So then we just drag them down here. We get one gold back, and they buff up some people. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, and you want me to roll? What's the apple do? Uh, it gives one and one. Hmm. Why don't you... And that'll also cost three. So if either we... we it, yeah, if we roll, we can only one buy, buy one pet. And if we use the apple, we can't buy anything. I oh, could buy that ladybug, but I don't want that ladybug. So, um, roll? I, I, I might use the apple and just put it on your bluebird. Okay. Make a, make a really strong early thing. And should and I just then... move the ladybug up there just to have an extra body? Okay, we're gonna, I guess so. Yeah, we're gonna fine. we're gonna lose the the money one way or the other. Yeah. Uh, that, well, you're not gonna lose the money, right? You'd you'd keep the money for the next round, wouldn't you? It doesn't roll over. It doesn't. Oh, okay. No. Well, then no. never mind. Yep. So you always want to try and use it'll it'll give you a warning too. It's like, hey, you got leftover gold. Are you sure you want to okay. do this? Okay. Because some auto chess games let you keep the money so you can buy more stuff on the next round. But that's you know that's probably a good balancing thing for this. Let's see okay. how the gushing soup does this time. And what are we up against here? Oh boy, they're stacked. Yeah, I, so that's maybe my one problem with this game is it seems like it, everything goes hard right right at the beginning. <laughs> it does get pretty pretty difficult. Uh, we're gonna lose this. We're gonna tie. No tie. Oh. Oh, but he keeps it. Nah, that sucks. Yep, the B comes at the very last second there and takes away. All right, so now we're we're tier two. 
Which that means, means we, get, we get stronger animals, but we also would lose more health if we lose, right? Yep, yep. So we can actually drop this mosquito onto that mosquito, and that's a pretty, pretty yeah. nice update. Let, let's try uh, that. Okay. Okay. Cool with that. What's what's our little cat friend do there? Uh, if it eats shop food, it gives a friend one attack until the end of battle. Mm, I like its I like its attack health, but I don't really like that power that much. And then what's our shrimp? Uh, friend soul gives a random friend health. So if we sell something with our shrimp up there, somebody will get health. Now this okay. cat is pretty interesting because it's I mean it's giving it's giving friends an increased attack until the end of the battle. So like if this is at the very end, yeah, everybody's just getting stronger the whole time. It it's only when it eats shop food though. So it, any, uh, I don't have any food to give it. So, uh, what I would do here, I, I think I, I like the shrimp, uh, because then it says if you sell anything, yeah. So, if we buy the shrimp and then sell the ladybug, because I still think the ladybug is the most helpful thing for us. Okay. So, sell the ladybug. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. Went to the mosquito. Nice. And now I'd roll. Okay, wait. Rolling only costs one, no matter what, it looks like. Well, now it's going to cost two. I don't think okay. so, because that was that was two before. I, it, That's we'll, just our we'll level. Um, okay, what's our peacock do? I feel like I remember the peacock being good. Uh, when it gets oh, hurt, it gets yeah, stronger. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, what's the spider do? When it faints, it summons a level one tier three pet as a two two. It's not terrible. And then uh, our little rat there. It gets a dirty rat for the opponent. I don't mm. know what that does. That would just give them a, a an animal, which you know it doesn't seem too bad because you get quite a bit of uh, stats out of the rat. But um, I I'd, I'd take your peacock and put that at the very front of the line. Okay. And then would this make that stronger? No, it, it's going to give the the strength to the bluebird because it's it's on the line. Oh, okay. That's what happened before, uh, and that's uh, not maybe the worst thing, but yeah, maybe the mosquito that we've put a little level into. I think because uh, he's also the most healthy, so he's going to stick around the longest. Cool. You think this is pretty good to run with then? Yeah, I think so. There's that warning about pay your golds. Got it. Still there. Which is dumb if you have one. Now this person sp spent some money. They bought a background as well, and they've got. I don't know. I wish you could find out what these things That's do. A big ass ladybug. Yeah. Okay. All right. We lost. It's all right. Peacock. We're doing. We're doing okay stuff here. Ah, oh, that eight attack is. Yeesh. So we tie again. All right. No. Oh. They have the damn bee. Ah. <laughs> The damn B. So you, you said something kind of interesting there, uh, in that we are actually playing other players. Uh, it's not it's not real time, but we are right. playing other people's team builds uh, instead yep. of in, instead of just playing against computer controlled opponents. So somebody's actually gone in and decided how they wanted to build their teams here, and that's kind of interesting. Now this is where. I think it can get pretty nasty. If we mm -hmm. double up our peacock and give it a cupcake, that thing's pretty tough. Yeah. Uh, that, that note that it's saying there is also pretty good. So if, if there were a bunch of pets that we wanted and we can't buy them all now, we could freeze a pet and make sure yep. that it's still there for the next set if we if we might want to buy it then. Um, yep. I, I like I like uh, upgrading our peacock right away. That's That seems smart. Uh, okay. What's our flamingo do? Uh, when it faints, it gives two friends uh, behind it uh, one and one. That's really good. I'd put that. I'd. I'd. Uh, hmm. I'd say sell Let's sell, sell our shrimp. shrimp. Yeah, because he'll give somebody health. Okay. Oh, move the maybe not because he's not in the party anymore. That's weird. Okay. Um, and then yeah, I'd buy the flamingo and put that up front. And then what's our and then I can't, beetle do? When it, it gives oh, health when yeah, it eats I, chopped I food. I don't like that. I'm thinking give the cupcake to the peacock still. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's only temporary, but it's still really good, and it'll let it 
live longer, which means it can get hurt more, which means it can gain permanent attack more. I like yep. that. Um, okay. Unless we sell something, we can't really do a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, the only but, the only other thing I'm thinking of is maybe sell the ant uh, to get and then buy that other cupcake. Uh, but man, that's that's pretty good though. I might actually move your ant in front of your peacock. Well, um, hang on, hang on. Let, let's move the ant up to the front because we want him. We want him to die um, and give it to somebody else. Then the flamingo we want to die and give it to the next two friends, right? The ones behind it. Do you think that we should move the bluebird in front of the flamingo to guarantee our peacock gets the buff? It's the bluebird is the leftmost friend, so it's going to the mosquito right now. Right. Um, I want to. I want to have our peacock closer to the. I, I like where our peacock is right now because these first two are sacrificial. They only have one health. They're gonna. They're gonna die pretty quickly. They're designed to. And then we get our peacock as many hits from the opponent as possible, so it can upgrade its own attack. Um, okay. Now, my own. My question is. We have the bluebird that's going to give one extra damage to to something the mosquito on, on right, the mosquito right now, but something to uh, the leftmost, and then the peacock or not the peacock, the flamingo gives the two friends behind. So that's going to be giving one one to both the peacock and the bluebird. Hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering if we actually move the bluebird. In to the last spot? It, no, in front of the flamingo, because then our our flamingo is giving extra stats to mosquito and and peacock, peacock, and then bluebird is giving extra stats to the mosquito. So that's getting two really monster creatures uh, that because yeah. eventually I think we can sell ant and bluebird and flamingo if we needed to. Uh, because we're okay. really just trying to create these two monsters that will hopefully be able to steamroll a bunch of stuff that we face. Um, yeah, I, I, I like this. I like this, I like this plan. Yeah, will probably be uh, destroyed, but I like this plan. Yeah, it feels good right now until we see you know fucking bee hats and all the other shit that's going to happen again. This guy's spending money. I can tell you right now, pirate hats. This mm. is going to fucking look at that wow. 16, sixteen on that fish. Seven fish. That's a big fish. <laughs> God. Okay. Okay. See, we win. Look wow. That. Wow. Okay. And now what I also imagine is that we're going to face more people uh, the the more trophies you get the the higher level people you face or i, I imagine we're going to face people who are also uh at one trophy level right now yes so um you were talking about selling some uh, things not not oh, I, we'll we'll see what happens so um we also have a bigger pool to pick from each time so that blowfish is is a uh, is pretty good with our mosquito because they'll both do damage to random enemies. That's not bad. Um, look right. at that fish again. It was level up. It gives all friends. All one friends. One. That's not bad. But we'd have to find more fish. Yep. Hmm. Bone attack. Interesting. Attack for five more damage. I, I like that. Why don't we put that on the peacock? Um, and what's what's our ant do up there? When it faints, it gives a random friend strength and heart oh, health. That's not bad. Well, especially gives us right at the beginning, so somebody's gonna get that buff right away. I I don't think that the shrimp is anything of importance no, right now. I, I, I th the the only thing I do here is I might sell our bluebird and put in our blowfish. We can do that. Because he's only giving us one attack, and I think the extra damage we get from Blowfish is better. Um, why don't you... I can also give the, use the apple, too. 
Yeah, I'm wondering if we should use an apple or if we should re-roll and see if we get other pets. Ooh, another peacock. Yeah, that's what we want. Let's let's upgrade our peacock. Okay, level Whoa, two. Look at look at our peacock again. See if see if something happens with level two. So yeah, now he gains four attack every time he gets hurt. That's really really good. Um, this one just popped up from that too. So when it faints, it summons a five five bus with splash Damn, attack. Splash that's attack. really good. Uh, so we, we would have, have to sell, sell a lot of at shit. least two yeah. things. Um, what if I freeze him? Yeah, you can absolutely freeze him. That's a that's a smart smart thing to do. Uh, what's the other? What are our other pets do just to to know? Turtle's pretty good too. It's gonna give melon armor. Uh, the cricket is a one one cricket mm -hmm. again, and then the tropical fish give the adjacent and, friends and one turn. Health. That's not bad. Um, and then what's the garlic do? I don't. Oh, I see a lot of garlic on here. Give a pet garlic, oh, and it takes two less that's damage. That's pretty useful too. Uh, these are both pretty good. You want me to freeze those or leave them? Can you them? freeze them? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good to me. Let's go. Let's go with that. Then, nah, I, I think the like... others are are fine to to leave. Okay. Let's see what we can do here, Chase. You don't like this game or anything, do you? Uh, no, no, not at all. <laughs> all right. Who gets the buff? Flamingo gets it's the buff. not the worst, but it's not the best. Boy. Dead yeah, right away. Not, not gonna... Not gonna work. <laughs> that fuck. Man, those fish... It's interesting. Those big blue yeah, fish... They, they seem pretty I, good. They're the ones that I see always just fucking wrecking people. So I don't know if we're just missing the mark here. Uh, Let's see. We got a doggy. Um, the ladybug again, and the turtle. Uh, I think we, uh, I think Who? we sell our blowfish because we want to get the deer yeah, up front. Yeah, I think we want to get our deer. So sell our blowfish, put our deer in the spot where the ant was. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Well. I'm yeah, that, that, that's fine. Let's, because that ant's still gonna die. Um, Cupcake to the peacock again. What's our dog do? Uh, it gains one attack and one health when a friend is summoned. Hmm. Okay. We don't have that. That's not a thing we're doing on this run, but I could see that being useful. Uh, yeah. Let's let's do the cupcake and the garlic armor on our on our peacock. Oh, if we do the garlic armor, does that get rid of the bone? Yeah, it replaces bone. Um, that actually might not be bad, because now if he takes less damage, he gets his attack it's, more. It's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we've got the cupcake in there, which is going to gain an attack on top of taking an, uh, a buff from being damaged, which is going to take less two, two less right. damage he's hit. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, I, honestly, I don't like the mosquito anymore, but it is just powerful in that it's a 5-6, so I don't want to get rid of it. Good oh boy. Okay, and they've got a peacock up front. That's going to be a little rough. Now this is going to summon something? Yeah. What the hell it was is a bus. that It did splash damage, so it, it, did, it hit the first guy oh. and the second guy. Okay. So this is still scary. I don't think we're going to win this, but... God damn it. I mean, do we tie? Unless he's got a B or something. Is that, is that no, still it's the a draw. Thing? Okay. No, it's a draw. Okay, turn seven. Tier four animals unlocked. Baby! What does this one do here? Canned food. Give all current and future shop pets plus two. Hmm. Okay. Seems alright. Uh, hedgehog. When it faints, it deals two damage That's to, to all. everything. Your pets the and their pets? Ugh. Yep. Okay. Uh, when you buy a friend, you gain strength right. and health. If you lost a battle, all friends get two. Mm -hmm. In turn, if you have four or less pets, gain two. Hmm, I don't love any of those. I. Hmm. 
I definitely think we should use a canned food. Yes, I agree. And I'm wondering if maybe we take that ox, that buffalo, um, and replace our mosquito. It hurts to lose the mosquito because it it's it's a five six. That's pretty good, but yeah, it's not. That one damage isn't really helping us, and it probably doesn't have enough stats. So yeah, I'd, I'd sell the mosquito, buy buy the buffalo. Okay. And then uh -huh. maybe maybe re-roll. One of those fish. Okay, let's buy the ant. And feed that. Okay. We're gonna oh. Good, okay. Um Yeah, I I think that's that's pretty good. I think what's what that? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fr I'm gonna freeze <laughs> okay. that fish. I I see that fish just destroying us all the time. And if we get another one, we can immediately yeah. Yeah. upgrade That's it fair. And, and do that. All right, let's go with this. See what we can do here. Probably going to lose, and this will be the end of the run, yeah. but we'll at least have fun. Oh, Ooh. 1424, and it takes two less damage each time. That's that's rough. The old bus. Just we can't do anything against that ladybug. Nope, that's, not here. That's ridiculous. God. God, how know, does that man. even happen? Ugh. So we got three. You now have nine points. I don't know what the points do. Is that a customized that thing? Maybe. You. Yeah. See. Okay. That's how you. Oh uh, yeah. You can buy hats for shit. And... Okay. Do the hats do anything? I don't. I don't think so. Say, I, think I don't think they do. I think showing off that you're good at the game. So that Santa hat, just, just, just. Let's just uh -huh. put some things in perspective. We saw, we saw a pirate we definitely hat. Saw uh -huh. a lot we saw of an inventor hat. We we saw. We saw people Santa. are playing this game. <laughs> people and, uh, are playing people this game. People are have honed their uh, honed their skills, and they know what they're doing here, and it's scary. Um, but I I like. Yeah, I you'll yeah, be one of them. I probably will be. I don't know if I'll see. The thing is, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be good at this. I like all the tinkering with with team building and stuff like that, but it just seems like people have have figured this kind of game out, and auto chess games in in general. They've just figured out the systems to a point that is beyond what I'm what I'm at, and that's that's a scary prospect. But this this is really cool. Bobby, I think I mentioned this to you on on our podcast, The Casual Hour, which uh, takes place every Wednesday at 10.30 p.m., that this... I I really like the, the mechanics that are going on in the background. The, the pets thing is fine. It's kind of cute, but I, I, I think you could easily throw some skins on this game. Uh, I, just, this is something that they sh that Nintendo should just partner with them and go, hey, what if we make uh, like the one I would want is Fire Emblem because I like that's also a tactical kind of game. You have a bunch of characters; they could all have different specific kinds of uh, moves that they do and 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 uh, abilities and mechanics. But you could do this with anything. You could do this with you could do this with Mario. Mario. Enemies. Think of it like, oh, I pick up a shy guy. Shy guy gives plus plus two to whatever. Right. Uh, Monty Mole does that thing to this thing. That'd be that'd be so cool. And they've done stuff like that in the past. I mean, there was that Puzzle and Dragons uh, version that was the the Mario edition. Or they've done the the uh, what's the what's the Zelda um, rhythm game Curse uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer, but. Hey. C Cadence Fire Rule. Cadence Fire so, like, rule. they've done things like this in the past, and they should absolutely do something like this with with this, because like the the mechanics are there. All you need to do is slap some sexy skin on it of of uh, you know characters that people are familiar with, and I think this would sell a lot of copies. But even as is, I think this is a really cool game, and and people should absolutely check it out. Hundred percent, man. Uh, it's it's really. 
been a game that I've I fired up before bed usually like I'll play a little bit of it I even have uh, played it on I have an uh, Amazon Fire tablet that I've been playing it on a little bit here and there and, and having a good time with it uh, seeing that it has a browser and knowing that it could come to iOS is only going to make this something that I could see being in rotation for those like quick moments because it doesn't take a whole lot to get in yeah. and out of a and a it's battery. not like the controls are complicated um, like this is could easily be touch touch and drag controls and I'm sure that's what it is on Android but uh, it's it's, yeah, it works pretty it's well so that way. easy to, to make it work, it seems. Absolutely. Chase, thanks so much for uh, coaching me through this one here. Super Auto Pets is free. You can play it in browser and PC and Android, as we talked about. Uh, tune back in Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at twitch.tv slash casual hour. And like and subscribe here on YouTube, where we post quick looks like the one you just watched every Tuesday and Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Chase, thanks for being here. And we will talk to you all very soon.